you have to engage in community and devotion to prayers has got to be an element in your group. Because that says this group, this community, this church is dependent on prayer. Dependent on God to do all of the things that he's called us to do. To live on mission. As they continue, Acts 3. Some of these are not going to be on the screen, so don't, don't worry about following. Acts 3, Peter and John go to the temple at the time of prayer. The day of prayer. They walk into the temple, and, and there's a paralytic man in this temple. All right, And God healed the paralytic man through Peter. Peter calls out a prayer. It says, get up and walk in Jesus' name. He prays it in the name of Jesus. Remember, Jesus intercedes on our prayers. And the power in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. This guy jumps up, starts running around like Usain Bolt. All right? And because of that, because of that miracle, the church grew from 3,000 to 5,000. Started the prayer of Peter. Get up and walk in Jesus' name. God, heal this person. The church continued to grow. Acts 6, church is growing, 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 and there becomes a problem. They've got over 5,000 people, and they cannot meet the needs of all the people in the church. I mean, you think about a, ch a church that size, and the disciples were trying to meet the needs of all those people. Man, they must have been leaving blind spots all over the place. This person needs this. They're just falling short. Specifically in Acts 7, or Acts 6, the, the widows were being neglected. So what they did in response to that, they saw all those things. The church gets together and prays. The disciples come together and they pray. They say, God, we're dependent on you. He revealed to them that they needed to come out of that and appoint seven men that would go meet all the needs of the church. You go around and y'all's job is to go around and meet all the needs of the widows and the other people in the church. While the disciples would devote themselves to prayer. That was their response to people in need, prayer. So you go do that, we're going to stay here, and we're just going to devote ourselves to prayer. They were modeling dependency. They didn't go out and say, okay, let's try some new strategies. Let me execute all these new plans with this new curriculum, these new people, new systems. They said, let's pray. Because they were saying, God, you are going to make this happen, and we will not do this without you. 